Liquid leaked from a damaged tank at a rate of R of T liters per hour. The rate decreased as time passed and the values of the rate at two hour time intervals are shown in the table below. For this first column we have time in hours, the second column we have the rate in liters per hour. We're asked to find the lower and upper estimates for the total amount of liquid that leaked out over this 10 hour time period. To do this we'll approximate the area under the curve that would pass through these ordered pairs over this interval using rectangles. We'll use either left sided rectangles or right sided rectangles based upon whether we're finding the lower or upper estimate. So for the first step we want to graph these ordered pairs on the coordinate plane which I've done here. Again the function r of t would have to pass through these points on the coordinate plane and might look something like this. And now we want to use rectangles to estimate the area under this curve. Notice how the units of the area would be liters per hour times hours which would give us liters which will give us the estimate on the amount of liquid that has leaked over the 10 hour time period. And because we're given information every two hours, we're going to divide the interval from zero hours to 10 hours into subintervals of length two hours. So we'll have one subinterval here, 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 and here. And now because our function is decreasing for the lower sum, we'll be using the right side of each subinterval as the height of each rectangle. So for this first subinterval, we'll use the function value of 8.3 as the height. Notice how the area of this rectangle would be less than the area under the curve over this subinterval. For the next subinterval, we'll use the function value of 8.1 as the height. For the next subinterval, we'll use the function value of 7.8 as the height. Next subinterval we'll use the function value of 7.6 as the height. And finally for the last subinterval we'll use the function value of 7.3 as the height. Again notice how the sum of the area of the five rectangles will be less than the total area under the curve which is why this will give us our lower estimate. So let's label this a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, a sub four, and a sub five. And now we'll find the sum of the areas of these five rectangles. So the area of this first rectangle would be the height of 8.3 times the width which is 2. So we'd have 8.3 times 2 plus for a sub 2 we'd have a height of 8.1 times the width of 2. So 8.1 times 2 plus for the third rectangle we'd have a height of 7.8 and a width of 2. So 7.8 times 2 plus for the fourth rectangle we'd have a height of 7.6, so 7.6 times the width of 2. And then finally for our last rectangle we have a height of 7.3 and a width of 2, so we have 7.3 times 2. And now we'll go to the calculator. The sum of these products comes out to 78.2. Remember the units would be liters. So the lower estimate of the amount leaked would be 78.2 liters. And now for the upper sum, we'll do the same thing, but now we'll use the left side of each subinterval to determine the height of each rectangle. So for this first subinterval, we'll use the function value of 8.6 as the height of this first rectangle. For the next subinterval, we'll use the function value of 8.3 as the height. For the third subinterval, we use the function value of 8.1 as the height. For the fourth subinterval, we use the function value of 7.8. Again, notice how we're using the function value on the left side of each subinterval for the upper estimate. And finally, for our last subinterval, we use the function value of 7.6 as the height of the rectangle. Notice here the sum of the area of the five rectangles is going to be more than the area under the curve, which is why these rectangles will give us the upper estimate. So again, the area of this first rectangle would be the height of 8.6 times the width of 2 plus for the second rectangle we'd have a height of 
So the area is 8.3 times 2 plus the third rectangle, the height, again, is from the left side, so the height is 8.1 times the width of 2 plus for the fourth rectangle, the height is 7.8, so 7.8 times 2 would give us the area. And finally, for our fifth rectangle, the height is this function value here, 7.6, and the width is 2, so we have 7.6 times 2. So the sum of these products will give us our upper estimate for the amount of liquid leaked during this 10-hour time period. So going back to the calculator, The sum of these products comes out to 80.8, which would be the sum of the area of the rectangles, but we know the units are liters. So the upper estimate is 80.8 liters. So we found a lower estimate of 78.2 liters, and we found an upper estimate of 80.8 liters, which means the actual amount of liquid leaked is probably somewhere in between. Again, we don't have all the information we need, we only have the information from the table, but it does seem reasonable the amount of liquid leaked would be somewhere between the lower estimate and the upper estimate. I hope you found this helpful.